Hey everybody, it's Stas here, your video agent. I wanted to show you a really beautiful property. It's a harbor front unit here, beautiful Vivante. This is building 93. 93 Vivante Boulevard. It's a beautiful harbor front unit, built in 2005. Harbor front uh, penthouse style unit is what we call it. It has uh, some spectacular views of the harbor. Um, and you actually have a personal elevator that's uh, your front door. So uh, as soon as you go up the elevator, it actually uh, opens up into your very own foyer. The unit that we're gonna look at, there's uh, three elevators in this, uh, this building. You have one on both ends and then one in the center. Each elevator services six units. Uh, the unit we're gonna look at is actually an end unit. The unit would be uh, 9131. Now all the ones would be on the end and these twos would be the second unit in which would make for an interior. Over here to the left is your stairwell. Now the only way to access this building would be if you had a key fob or a key card. So if you pull on this won't open, but if you use your, your fob, scans, clicks, wide open. And then of course, this is your emergency exit, so this is your stairwell, but we're not gonna take the stairs. What's the point of having a private elevator if you're gonna take the stairs? <laughs> so, we're gonna make our way over to the elevator. Now, if you have guests that come to visit you, what they would do is, They'll go ahead and uh, hit your unit. So it would be 9331. This will call a phone upstairs as a dedicated line. You don't have to pay for a phone line. It's a dedicated line. And you would go ahead and pick up that phone and uh, get them access. They cannot just jump on this elevator and come see you. As you can see, the elevator will not open. So that's where this comes in handy. If you scan, now it will go ahead and call for the elevator. Wow. Before we go in, I just want to show you the parking garage. So here you have your parking garage area. You'll have an assigned spot. Some units come with two spots, but majority of them will all come with a mandatory one spot. Uh, with that being said, there is plenty of parking out front. Um, you don't really have an issue with parking here. I've lived in this community myself for about three and a half years in the building next door, um, which is a harbor front as well. There's five harbor front units, I mean five harbor front buildings, each with 18 units on the, in the community. So that's five buildings with 18 units apiece. And I mean, it's just a wonderful lifestyle. For those that don't know, Vivante is a resort style community. Um, I say resort style because they have so many wonderful resort style amenities, anything from a spa to a full fitness center, two lane lap pool, resort style pool, cabana, five TVs with grills, and just a many more amenities. There's so many to list. But anyway, this is your parking garage. Now if you could see right there, that's a that door is your storage door. So there's a, there are storage rooms on both sides of this elevator for uh, personal storage. Again, this is our elevator. I always tell people if you, if you were out having a couple of adult beverages and you stumble in and can't get the elevator to work, uh, most likely you're at the wrong elevator. <laughs> Once inside, you will then have access to whichever unit you're going to. So for instance, we're going up to this floor. If we hit all the other floors, it will just turn off. It will only take you up to your elevator. Now we are going to the third floor and it says R. That's because since we're on the end, there's a rear door. And into the unit we go. 
so as soon as you get off the elevator, there's your foyer, the double doors that take you into your front half of the condo. It's actually the back end of the condo with the water view. Uh, the front end is actually the back of the condo, so it's a little flip-flopped, but as soon as you get off the elevator, to the left you have a hall that will take you to the rear of the condo. So you have a closet here, and then you have your back door. I'm just doing a from back to front. You can go, you can enter the condo any direction you want to. This is just the back of the condo, which is actually the front of the building. So I'll call this the back of the house. As you can see, you've got your laundry room here. And again, that's the uh, door to go out back. Uh, you would take your trash out and uh, your emergency stairs. So you have this door here to secure this area. Over here you have one of the two back bedrooms. This has a really nice um, Murphy bed. This actually slides apart for a nice queen size bed. It's pretty. Pretty easy going, I'm doing it with one hand easily. So yeah, you've got your Murphy bed. Oh, it's sliding back. <laughs> of course you have your window here. The great thing about the end units, uh, they have a lot more windows and um, there's no balcony from the outside so no one can walk across your uh, back windows so this is the view from this room and then this is the walk-in closet these walk-in closets are ginormous uh, they're a lot bigger than your typical harbor front closet um, this one just happens to have items in it, so pardon the clutter. This is an owner-occupied residence, I was told. So again, you exit the second bedroom and that's your laundry room. That's the door to take you outside. If you made a left, you can uh, make your way to the elevator. And we'll go ahead and move on over to the next bedroom and bathroom so here's your bathroom granite countertops tiled shower and you have your third bedroom try to rotate you here so you can get a 360 view of the room Again, you have another walk-in closet here. And it is a pretty good size walk-in closet. And there's some big beds in this house. These are king size, that's a king size bed there. So of course you have your linen closet there. Again, your bathroom. And then to the right is your second bedroom, your laundry room. The door directly takes you outside. And of course this is the hall door, you can secure that. We're gonna make our way now to the front of the condo, back of the building. So this closet has your air handler and your water heater. Over here you have your powder room, which is your half bath for those who don't know. So now when you're entertaining your guests, you just come here to the powder room. 
Now this is your second entrance to the kitchen. Here's your thermostat. It's normally uh, here in the hallway. This one has actually a dehumidistat they added to it, uh, which overrides the AC system in the event that the unit uh, reaches a temperature of humidity that you have it set to. It'll go ahead and override the AC system and uh, turn the AC on. So since this is an end unit, you get a nice size uh, breakfast nook here. You get the additional windows. These are all impact glass windows. Now it looks like they went ahead and made an addition here. Looks like a dual zone wine cellar, cabinet and granite countertop. You've got your cabinets, stainless steel package. There is your dishwasher. And then you have your island. Again, that's the hallway that we came from. Uh, if you made a right, it'll take you to a bathroom and two bedrooms in your laundry room, as well as the rear exit. If you go straight across, there's your powder room. And if, if you like to entertain and cook, well, there you have it. It's nice and open. There's your dining room area and then a huge living room. I mean, this living room is wide and uh, tons of room here for entertaining. And then that would be the entrance to your master. And that's actually the front door, your front door, which is where we entered. We just actually went around in a circle, but uh, you'd actually come in from your elevator this way, um, right into your living area, kitchen area, instead of going to the back of the condo. You can see all the crown molding. It's a beautiful unit. Again, since we are on the end, you have a lot of windows here giving you a lot of natural bright light. A lot of privacy here. View of a pool. It's for the next community there. But you have a lot of privacy with these trees and then the, build, the next building is across the way. That's a different community. So that's one of the best features about this end unit in building 93. It's all the privacy you have, especially on your lanai. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look outside the lanai. Impact glass slider. But yeah, that's the million dollar view. That's what you're paying for besides the over 2,400 square feet of property. That beautiful view. And of course it's very shallow here so you don't get a lot of boats there. I mean you could literally walk up to your stomach uh, certain times of the day so you don't get a lot of boat action close by. Yeah. And I mean, you get plenty of privacy here. I mean, your next door neighbors are pretty far. And this is a pretty decent sized lanai as well. That slider takes you to your master. You got a nice little relaxation piece there. Your sliders. I mean, there's plenty of room out here. So we're gonna go ahead and head back into the AC. Again, we just came from the outside off your lanai. You have your front door. The hall takes you to your closet. and That's your coat closet, your powder room, and then your water heater and air handler closet or utility closet access to your kitchen there as well as in the hall your living room area now we're gonna go ahead and take a walk into your master one of the big differences 
in this unit outside of that back hall is the master this master just feels a lot bigger um, it is nice and wide that's another king size bed they actually have a desk in place looks like a small little home office setup obviously you have your view you have your access to your lanai but instead of having his and her walk-in closets they have one huge walk-in closet i mean it's big enough to put a queen size air mattress in if you run out of space so you've got a two mirrored system here i actually opened it on the wrong side but that's the master bath we'll get into that shortly but anyway take a step back so yeah it's just two mirrors that are two mirrored doors that open up into your huge walk-in closet now they don't have much shelving in here but I tell you if you put a closet organizer in here I mean you you can definitely uh, make use of a lot of space in here put two tiers all the way around if you don't want uh, that dresser that dresser did not come with the unit just in case you were wondering so here you have your master bath of course you have your private office the pocket door and you have your jetted tub your linen closet his and her sinks with plenty of center cabinets or a drawer bank. And then a nice size shower. It's a big shower. So there you have it. This is a harbor front unit, building 93. It's a beautiful end unit. End units are very rare. Uh, they don't come up often. Uh, last year we actually had two of them pop up, which was pretty pretty rare, and uh, they sold rather quickly. Um, mostly it's interior. There's only six per building. So, I mean, they don't, again, they don't really come up often. A lot of people like them because of the natural light and the privacy. Um, they, are, they are also, again, a little bit bigger because of the breakfast nook. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. 941-209-1561. I can also be reached at Stas, S-T-A-S at aaronkatron.com you can find all my information down below in the description please don't hesitate to like or comment on the video but email me directly for questions <laughs> I could definitely get back to you quicker via email thank you so much and uh, I hope that you guys are having a very blessed day